Well, it came across the ridge up here and we could see it going across and kind of coming toward us. The wind shifted, it looked like it was gonna go across and then it didn't. It turned again, came right toward us. My husband was already loading dogs at that point and we'd loaded just a few other things. So as soon as we got dogs in and we had a sheriff here helping us load, thank goodness we'd have never got them all in. As soon as we had dogs loaded, we got out on the highway and one of our friends came back for the horses. We pulled up just down the road at, across from, Ell right at Ellensburg Ranches Road. And we were trying to load two of the horses and they said they're gonna put a fire line in here. And we looked up and here's the plane coming right at us. And so my car and my truck both got fire retardant all over them. And the trailer that we had all the dogs in. So yeah, we, um, it was very serious at that point. We had to pull on forward and try again to load the horses because we only got two in at that point. There's, there were five to be loaded. We moved probably another mile, tried, got two more loaded and got went farther still and got the last one in. And then we all took off for town. Well, we're trying to be more prepared in case we have another one. grass down so it can't come in like it did last time. It came in above us last time, came clear around, and came actually hit the house from below. We saw flames even while we were at Ellensburg Ranches Road. They were headed our way and we just kept moving down. As we'd see flames we'd have to move farther. And I did see the first building here start burning. It was a, a shed that we had just for storage. That must have hurt. I said, well, there it goes. What, there's nothing you can do. We packed in and got going before we lost even more than we already had. We've had a lot of good friends and people that have helped us out. Uh, we had a travel trailer that came in by donations, money that was donated. We had a second travel trailer that was donated to us for hauling it away so our son had a place to stay while he was here. Uh, just the whole community has really pitched in and helped out everybody that was involved in the fire, not just us. The pet food that was donated, nobody else kept coming and kept coming. And finally, the last day, they said, if you want it, come get it. We had ended up with enough dog food to get us through the whole winter. Wow. And then we had to, of course, start working on that again. We've been able to replace I believe all of my dog gear now, some of the tools that were lost, some personal possessions, but we don't have a lot of place to put them yet. We have another home coming now. It'll be a bigger home and it'll sit in the same place the other one did, except that, of course, it's a little bigger. And this time, because the snow load, we'll have to put a snow roof over it, but that's okay too. We'll manage that. We got engineering back for the snow roof Thursday afternoon. My husband took all the engineering and all the other stuff we needed into the county just before noon on Friday. And about four o'clock they called us to tell us that everything was ready. Wow. And we went and got our permits and started calling for our movers. And they said two to three weeks and they'll be able to move us. Well, nothing you could do. It was going to happen. It was going to happen. It was meant to. Much as I don't like it, it was meant to happen. So, go forward.